where I found it to be um, there are sort of more research funding available that I didn't appreciate or understand when I first started uh, at a think tank in, in Washington was um, funding from the U.S. government. So I have found that there's vast pools of funding from U.S. government sources for lots of research, both applied research and even some theoretical research. Outside of that, there are a number of offices and departments that work particularly on international relations, national security, um, obviously the Pentagon, but also the Department of Energy and uh, NNSA, um, Department of Homeland Security, the intelligence community, uh, all these entities fund lots and lots of research. And the research though, I think that to be appreciated is that it's not pure scientific inquiry uh, pure theoretical questions that require answers, gaps in the literature that need to be filled. But nor are they so narrow as to be advocacy uh, or, you know, um, trying to sort of uh, stack the deck with research findings that confirm things that they already know. I think that it's a space in between, which is that oftentimes what they're looking to do is answer uh, questions that provide insights to mid-tier operators, warfighters, decision makers. So not the grand strategy questions at the apex of uh, political decision making or policy decision making, nor um, is it just confirmation bias seeking behavior, but it's it's trying to a answer maybe some operational questions. Um, and because of that, it requires sort of scoping the answers, the scoping the research design a little bit differently, scoping the, the proposal uh, a little bit differently, but trying to address things that have um, maybe some more immediate utility uh, or tractable utility for uh, policymakers over the next, you know, two to five years.